Hello Georgia B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This idea come from Pinterest. I'm afraid I don't remember the name as it's been a few um, weeks since I made it. But let's see if I can find it. doesn't actually say who made it. That's a reply. Anyway, it's there on Pinterest. So, I'm making my version of it. And I have made, and I'm going to make the next one in Misty Moonlight cardstock. So I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. I have got a piece of very vanilla at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. I have got a piece. It was. Oh no, this one isn't. This is. Two and one eighth by five and five eighths for there, and this is what was a five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I chopped a third of it off using the die from. I can't even remember the name of the set. What am I like? Let's see if we can find it. Hmm. I think it's it's definitely still current, I'm sure it is. I didn't buy the stamp set, so I just wanted the dies. Now it's trying to find it. was a Christmas set, that's why it's not in here. That means it's not current. Hmm. Bundles. Oh, there it is. Scalloped contours. And I used the um, scalloped die. So that's there. And then for the flowers and whatnot we will use the dies from Quiet Meadow. And we will use this one and this one. And that's the one. Oh, we need the butterfly as well. And I also used the label die, which I've cut out a couple of labels in case I make a mistake. Already cut them out. And I've also got this bit, which I'm going to stick in there. And that's from the rain, flowering rain boots dies part of their fence but I liked it so I thought I'd put it on there like that so let's cut out some of these dies 
and then we will do some stamping. So used another one as well, that one. Oh, I know what I did. this one but I don't want the flower bit I just want the um, foliage Come out. I'll cut that off in a minute. No, I don't need that. There we are. We have our three bits of foliage and our butterfly. And we just got to stamp our sentiment, which I've already got here. I'm making sure it's straight. I have our versified ink, and we're going to stamp that. Pray it's straight. Oh, it is. Now all we've got to do is put the card together. So, on this bit, everything but the sentiment gets glued flat. Yeah. 
and then this one will go the other side. Now the butterfly, what I did do, I did put some Wink of Stella on it. Can you tell I've got a new Wink of Stella? Everything's getting Wink of Stella. going to go over there like that and then that's going to get glued just there I'm going to glue this down first before I, um, oh no, this goes on dimensionals, so let's, that was the ease I used. These are just big strips I got from Amazon a while ago and I'm just using them up. This one? Oh no, I'll glue this on first. So I know how much space I've got from putting this down to putting that on top. inside and now we take all these backings off maybe Now this, we place it this side in line with the with that bit. Right, and this bit can go on like. That, but straight. Now 
on this bit here we just glue down flat there so let's pop some glue on it I'm just putting something in each corner the corner I'm holding And that is our card done. No gems, nothing like that, just a card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday and a Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.